Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So today we have Keep It, Fix It, Dump It for uh, April. Oh my God, it's going so fast. I say that every time. April 2022. If you're watching this from the future, hi. Uh, are people flying yet? So Keep It, Fix It, Dump It is where I take some products I have purchased myself, been gifted, been sent in PR, whatever, that I haven't tried yet. And I try them right now and I decide, am I gonna keep them? Which means I'm gonna keep them. Am I gonna fix them? Which means I'm gonna fix, no, it doesn't. It means I'm gonna keep them, but I do wish they were like this, or this is how I would make this product work better for me or work better in general. Would I dump it? Which means I'm donating, I'm giving away, or I'm keeping for a second chance this video, something like that. So let's just get straight into it. I do just wanna give a little shout out, first of all, to this lip balm from um, Laneige. So it comes in a little tub like this. What's happened to, oh, why are my lights so bright? When my lights are too bright, it just makes my skin look like better than it is and you can't really see like details on products. Okay, so this is the Laneige treatment balm. It has a little like spatula in the top here, which I don't really use because I'm just using it for myself. It has this really, really nice, almost like luminosity to it. It's slightly pink in tone, but I have it on my lips right now. It is slightly like, it's not ting tingling isn't the right word because it's like a comfortable plump kind of feeling, but as someone who doesn't like things on their lips, especially pink, especially glitter, for something that's pink and like, you know, shiny, it just sits really nicely on the lip. Okay, so let's stick with Laneige. They also sent me the Glowy Makeup Serum, which is a serum. And this does have, when I look at it inside, it almost has like this pinky, I have no idea. Anyway, let's try it. I always say I love serums for prepping the skin. This is more of like a gel, like a lightweight gel. It doesn't really have a smell to it either. Something's not right about my lighting. Are, they, are the lights too low? I don't know. This is feeling really nice. It's actually not as quickly absorbed as I thought it would be for a serum. Hydrating and long lasting makeup wear. Oh, okay, we'll see. There's a subtle glow to my skin, which is nice. I mean, yeah, we'll see how makeup sits on top of it. Um. Okay. Okay, let's start off with the eyes. I am gonna be using the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams palette. I really, really like e.l.f. eyeshadows. I really like their um, the mini palettes that are really, really good value for their price point especially. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. So this did come in, the PR package was um, a jar of like Oreos. So if you do see some crumbs in it, it's literally like Oreo crumb. <laughs> so we have some really nice neutrals, some really nice blues. I wonder where the blue came in for the cookies kind of thing. Is that like the dream part? I don't know. And I'm also gonna be using their No Budge Eyeshadow Stick. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna take, are these named? No. I think I'm gonna take this, oh, what do I wanna do? Let's start with this lighter blue here because it'll be interesting to see how this kind of works. Something's happening to my, what is going on? I'm sorry. Um, this lighter blue. A lighter blue is that almost like verge on that pastel or pastel. Um, it's interesting to see how they, how they work. I do have an eye primer on already. Of course, my favorite, which is my Sigma eye primer in the shade Ignite. I'm gonna take this quite high up because I do wanna, I wanna cut crease today. It's been a while. No, it hasn't. It's been a week. Take it right to that inside corner. Yeah, it's definitely coming out the color it is here in the palette. What's happening? What is happening today? It'll be interesting to see how, I always find it with lighter shades like this, that um, some eyeshadows don't really sit very well on top of the lighter shades. But e.l.f. is good, e.l.f. eyeshadows are good, so. Does it smell? No, it doesn't. Oh, I just really inhaled that for no reason. Okay, cute. Okay, what I want to do, I want to take the, what's it called? No Budge Eyeshadow Stick. And I'm actually gonna take a little bit off and just break it onto my hand or a palette. I should probably get a palette. I'm gonna do some smushing. Let's try and cut crease with this, see if it works. Yeah, it's going on like a paint. That's great. This is a really nice texture, I would say. Whether you're doing it the way I'm doing it now, or whether you're using it in stick form, it doesn't give you too much play time. So I would act on it and blend it very, very quickly. Or as quick as you can, really. Being like, as it says, like a no budge eyeshadow. 
it's going to set quite quick. And once it's set, it's set. Let me just get that shape in there quick. I was going to like darken the outsides, but I'm kind of liking how bright it is. Or do I? So I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to take this shade. It looks duo tony, but we'll see how it goes on the lid. Yeah, that's really nice. That's a very um, early 2000s, like Paris Hilton shade, you know? <laughs> and then I'm going to take this lighter matte and I'm just going to go over this whiter shade. Um, maybe not all the way in, but kind of just to, I don't know, I guess in a way smooth it out because on my eyelids, like a drier product can look a little bit creepy. So I just want to smooth out that creepiness. Let's take a tiny bit off the, oh, I don't know if it's going to do this deeper blue or this blacky blue. Mm. Let's do the, just this deeper shimmery blue. Okay, so I did have quite a bit of fallout under my eyes. However, that is, I believe that's because usually I wouldn't go into a shimmer shade with a fluffy brush like that. So that darker blue that I use, I would usually go in with a flat brush because um, it needs to be pressed and packed a little bit more. So me going backwards and forwards with it was probably most likely the cause of that fallout. I'm just gonna do some concealer under the eyes. I don't have any new ones, so let's just go in with a KBD. Oh, I used the wrong shade. Mm, what is today? What is today? Ghostly. You know what? I've been out in the sun as well, so my skin has very slightly tanned. But my skin, when it's slightly tans, I go a whole different shade. So this is... <laughs> you know what? Whatever. So what I'm going to do now, I want to go back in with some of the stick. I want to see if I can create this, like... And then we need to blend that white in like immediately. Kind of, kind of what I was going for. Okay, so that's the kind of thing we're going for. We'll do some lashes and finish up the eyes in a little while. Let's go onto the skin. Now, mm, that's not gonna work. We'll, we'll make it work. Where's my thing? Okay, so I was also sent, sticking to e.l.f., I've looked at it, the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. Now, I've never used this powder foundation. I do like powder foundation, however. So it does come with a little, with a little sponge underneath. One thing I think is important with powder foundations, or anything that has a sponge underneath, is for it to have some breathing holes in the base here, because we don't want that, we don't want that sponge to retain moisture and sit in a little airtight, compact place being all yeah. and you'll see a lot of powder foundations or a lot of compact powders do have that underneath so the sponge can always get some air um but i'm not, I'm not going to use the sponge to apply sponges are great for touch-ups when you're out i'm going to use a small dense brush and this is the shade light 21 n 20 no, it's not. Sorry. A 210N. And with a powder um, compact, I'm going to swivel around, tap, tap, tap. A lot of fallout there. And I'm going to start actually up here by the cheeks and just start to circle outward. I'm holding my brush upwards as well and swiveling around like this. What you don't want to do is jam your brush into the compact like this. So I'm circling outwards here, and then I'm just gonna go around like the edges almost, and backwards and forwards, make sure I'm getting everywhere. Just going up the sides of the nose, we'll concentrate on the nose properly in just a minute. So for the nose, I'm just gonna brush up and down the sides, very short little motion circles, upwards, downwards, circles, upwards, downwards. Forehead, I'm starting again on the outside corner here. And buffing the circles. This is, this is, there's a lot of like pow not powder, it's kicking up a lot of powder. Now, I actually love powder foundations. I, um, I really like to use them. And a lot of them don't have this powder kick up. Is that what it's called? You know what I mean? However, that does kind of tell me that this foundation isn't too densely packed. So, it was gonna go on nice and smooth, but I mean, I would rather save all that product. Okay, so this is what the powder foundation looks like, just powder. I like powder foundation, but I don't like it to look so matte like this, like this is crazy matte. So I'm gonna take the Super Fix Spray, this is from Misguided, um, 
and give this a go. And I'm just gonna spray it over the whole face. I per you can absolutely keep your face matte like this. If you're oilier, you know, you can give it like five minutes and it might look fine. I personally can't sit here like this. So I'm gonna completely drench my face. That's just how I like to wear powder foundation and then dry it. So forehead first. It's primer infused and long lasting to receive an airbrush non cakey look. I wouldn't say non cakey, that stays put from first application. Buildable, medium to full coverage, blurred, even complexion that keeps shine at bay. Blurred, yes, natural finish. Now, I think like if you didn't use too much, it would give you like an, um, a non cakey look. However, if you do want a full coverage, you may have to do a little bit of this extra work. Powder foundations, once they're like um, hydrated and moistened, they sit really nicely. Right, I really stupidly have chosen free like cream products to use my cheeks on top of powder foundation. So um, let's hold off for a second and just let that setting spray do its thing. We're gonna try a new mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Waterproof from Benefit. Comes in this cute little um, packaging. I do love a basic brush. Let's give it a go. You know what, this is, I actually appreciate that this brush doesn't have that many like, I wanna say hairs, but I know they're not hairs. And of course I get some mascara on the white part, we'll wait for that to dry and then deal with it. But what's nice about this is it doesn't pick up, look, you can see it doesn't pick up too much product and it isn't going like clumpy. There's not like gloops of mascara. Oh, sorry, eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I keep forgetting, keep keep waiting on the foundation but um the priming serum i'm gonna keep as well because i think that powder went really nicely on top mm, very nice if you want a mascara that's just gonna lift your lashes very slightly and, and give them like a little bit of a separation what's happening here scooping down let's sort out that little patch i'm just gonna wait for that mascara to dry and when it's like dry ish i'm gonna take a mascara wand and just flake it off we can go back on top with a bit of that white I can't my lashes lifted again, you know, they just, they just go boop. The powder foundation's looking nice. It's still kind of, ha it now with a spray, I actually quite like the texture of it. It still feels dry on my face. It still feels matte on my face. We're gonna keep this, because I think this might be a nice little touch up piece. So keep that one. Okay, for blush and highlight, we have these Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Blush and the Cheeky Rose Highlight. And they're these really cute, little flowers. Let me take out the blush first. So it is a cream formula, but we should be absolutely fine now that I've kind of hydrated the powder. Look how cute. I always thought like this bit underneath was like this, for some reason, like a clear gel, but it just, it, it's just a packaging dipping in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I have used powder, I it's gonna go on fine, but I don't wanna disturb it too much. So I'm actually gonna use a brush. That's gonna be a little bit lighter in application and not disturb too much and just build up a tiny bit at a time. So this is the shade Tea Time. I think it's called Tea Time. No, this is a, this is a finger thing, isn't it? I really don't wanna ruin the blush though. It's kind of, oh, this is definitely a lot pinker than I thought it would be. It's got this like powdery cream texture almost to it. Let's just give that a little. Cute, that's really, really cute, really nice. Buildable in like a nice way where it's very manageable buildable. I really like that, that's really, really nice. Am I ruining that flower? Absolutely. I do have to say, just quickly touching back on that powder foundation, I am looking around and there's a bit like there's powder everywhere. If you use a sponge, you wouldn't kind of get that, maybe a little bit, but the sponge just isn't the best initial application. I really like that blush. I really, really like that. Let's try the highlighter. Similar idea, really, really cute. Oh, I almost don't want to touch it. Doesn't sound like anything. It's like a cute like Pokemon ball, right? Okay. Oh shit, wrong finger, oh my god. <laughs> this is really nice, it's very natural. Once it's blended in, it has this really nice skin-like glow to it. See, it just catches the light. Mm-hmm, nice. 
Yeah, it's very, very natural. It's very subtle, but I do feel like you can build it up. I'm just being very wary because I know I have a powder underneath and I don't want it to, I don't want to use too much. I keep using the wrong fucking finger. I don't want to use too much um, product because it, it can get quite textury with, you know, powder on the whole face. Something smells really good. What is, what is that smell? Oh, it's a setting spray. Okay, we're going to keep the fixing mist because that looks really, really nice on the skin. It still feels like it's on, but it looks hydrated and somebody who's oily but wants hydration, that's a good one. The blush and the highlighter from Winky Lux Keep. These are stunning. These are so subtle and so nice, but I think buildable at the same time. They're going to be really, really nice. Okay, let's try. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer now, which I don't know what kind of order I'm doing this in. But I do have the Be Perfect new Cronzer, cream bronzer. And these are the shades Tan and Toasted. Be Perfect are definitely working on their, like, base range, it seems. Like, their uh, foundation, you know, concealer and bronzer, all that kind of stuff. Which is great, because Be Perfect always have some really nice products. So, Tan, almost, it, so this is Tan. It's a little bit more lighter, whereas Toasted here is a tiny bit deeper. Let's go for Tan. And I'm literally going to use the smallest, smallest amount just on the edge here. Now, this is, these are definitely bronzer shades. They're not like, I wouldn't say they could be used as contours because they do really have that, like, tan, like, warmth to them. Like, that sun, sun-kissed warmth, you know. If you use this too much as a contour, you might run the risk of being orange. Um, although the shades are perfect for bronzer, they're definitely just a nice cream bronzer, which is good. I like that people keep contour and bronzing shades separately because they shouldn't be the same. I'm gonna wrap my bronzer under my blush as well. I like that. I like that a lot. I look, um, bronzed. <laughs> really nice texture. Be Perfect have got, whatever they're doing right now, they've got their products down. Like, they, they just know what they're doing. Their foundation was stunning. Their concealer was stunning. Their, um, blushes they brought out and those highlighters were beautiful. Their eyeshadows are always amazing. I, they're really, really nice products at the moment. So, 100% keep these. These are really, really nice and Hopefully in a few months when I go on holiday and get a nice tan, I can come back and use the other shade. Okay, so quite a while back, Base Blue sent me these incredible, incredible lip products along with some other stuff. This is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and I believe the shade, it says number three, Serenity, I want to say. Let's go here for a little girl. Mm -hmm. We'll just keep this in the middle and then I'll do my like nude lip situation. This is so soft and so smooth. It's a very strange color. It's like peach and nude. That's a weird one. Okay. Okay, let's put a gloss on top of that. But these are really comfortable. So this is a keep. Let me cut some lashes because I need to break up this look a little bit with something darker. And we'll be right back. Okay, well that is Keep It, Fix It, Dump It for April 2022. Did I leave something out? There was a lot of keeps. There were no fixes. Were there any dumps? No, that was a good batch of products. And I have hairs on my face. So let me know in the comments below, are there any products that you bought this month that you're like, okay, I wish I could change it, or I wish it wasn't like this, or it's the best product you've ever tried? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much again for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up, and do consider subscribing, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.